Okay, I don't know if I'm actually online yet. Give me a couple of seconds while I actually sort this stuff out if I am. And if I'm not, I guess I'm just talking to myself. That does click. That does say that I'm live. Ding. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. that is going. That is going. That is displaying correctly and properly. Okay, cool, cool. Um, da -da 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 -da. okay, I think. We should be good to go. A rough start for the second stream in a row because it's shorter because I was doing something else and we finished the something else and we still have lots of time to spare so I moved on to this. Is that a long enough sentence for you? Probably. Okay. Um, what do we have? We have shields, we have a whole ton of food over here still. Um, we can make some more torches. We have wooden stuff, we have wood and ability to get more wood. Planks. We have a bunch of food from melons that were laying around. Okay. So far, so far, so far, we have found the intersection one. We've completed the white wall. And we know where the next four areas are. It's a large intersection, apparently. And the next direction that we need to go in is down here. Okay, cool, that is definitely going. Cool, cool. Top the lava fall. Second area being a lava area is a little bit early, but not unheard of early. Hello. Let's swap to an actual sword. That might help. Actual sword. Uh, set the axe as a secondary weapon. Break the spawner. What's in the ground? Lava. Dunk some of the pigmen in the lava. There we go. Large area over there. Thorns. Okay. No problem, no problem, no problem. I am glad to be helpful. In some small way. Always ready to beta test some stuff. Okay. Little corridors, no problem. Huge, expansive area, maybe a little bit more of a problem. Okay, we have a large lake of lava and a very, very skinny little platform. 
get off of the very skinny little platform. Okay, the mobs are fighting each other. Run back up to safety. And maybe knock this one off the ledge. Yeah. And that one. Once it gets up here. Cool. Um, gonna make me waste three arrows. Okay. Can pick up one more though. Climb, light, what's in the box? More wooden stuff, more leather. No, 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 no. Kind of didn't consider the fact that they're pigmen and the light isn't going to work. Um, do that, do that. Got the coal. Let's make a um, crafting table. Guess we might need to make some replacement armor real soon. Okay, what's still down there? There's a pigmen, there's a skelly somewhere nearby. There's a creeper spawner hidden down there. Okay. Um, I think despite the fact they're on fire, their bows only have punch. So we can block them with the shield and not worry about all the fire. Good. Get them to attack each other. Drop down, hide behind the spawner, use that as a bit of cover as well. And you can blow up and knock them into the lava. Cool. And down you go. Okay, semi-hidden creeper spawner broken. Picked up a few ladders, we don't need to go back up there again, so we can just take them. Another broken bit of floor, what have we got around here? There's a tree. Um, nothing on top of there that I can see, one spawner over there. Tunnel with a spawner in it over there, spawner there, lots of dangling platforms. Uh, how many blocks do we have? Not that many. Not enough to close off the entire floor. Uh, do we block it off with wood, or is it just still going to burn if I try and do that? Why don't we make a crafting table? There's a whole bunch sat right here. Um, what I'm actually going to do is find out that there's apparently something in the lava that can shoot me. Excellent. What I wanted to do Hello, it's a chipmunk. What I actually wanted to do, if I can place it, that, that, that might be good enough. I want to check whether or not fire tick is on. And without actually typing in fire tick, which is kind of cheaty, the best way to do that is just place a log somewhere around the lava and then check back in a little while to see if it's burnt or not. I don't believe I've ever seen chip on in the, uh, in the stream chat before. Welcome, welcome. A 
Well, I've not seen too much of the area yet, but let me try and list a few things. We've got some... Can I see any brush strokes? Very vaguely. There's one here, one here. Not quite eroded enough, but they're eroded a little. Um, we've got some height variation going on. That is on a different height level to that. The spawner kind of hidden in there. We've got some tricky terrain going on as well. You can't just sprint through the area because you're probably going to fall into a lava pit. And there's also not too much room to run around. There's a little bit. Okay. Well, the blaze fire is definitely going to tell me whether or not fire takes on, depending on whether that column burns up. Um, da -da 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 -da. Should not have randomly fired that arrow. I was trying to check in how and see how many we had left. Not that many. I don't want to waste them by firing them randomly into the lava. Sprint! Break it! Okay. I think I'm gonna say that fire tick is off, because that column is not spontaneously collapsing. So we should just be able to block stuff up with wood, like this. It'll be fine. Gotta take it slow because otherwise we're gonna fall into a bit of lava. Let's pick up the blaze rod. Uh, block over that. Whoa. Okay, did you just fall off into the lava? And you're now trying to attack me from out of the lava. Um, that isn't good. And they have fire resistance, so they're not going to die if they actually fall down in there. They're just going to stay down there and actually be hidden and gain fire arrows. So, kind of don't want them to fall off. Um, nothing in the dropper or the dispenser. Any other furnaces? Yes, there's some coal, some more coal. Chest up there, guarded by another spawner. We need some more blocks. That'll do. Place it. Place it. Whoop. And down it goes. Okay, not back one sword. Bunch of leather, how's the armor doing? Not broken yet, but it's almost there. How much leather did we get? Exactly enough to make a whole extra set. Coincidence? Probably not. Okay, let's fill that in a little bit better as well. Collect more blocks. Make more blocks. Convert them into even more blocks. Okay, now we can build out this bridge. There we go. What is over here? There's a chest dangling from the ceiling, there's a whole bunch of coal everywhere. Um, three visible spawners. I think they're all creepers. Closest one definitely is. Okay. Um, there we go. 
Don't need to waste the weapon durability if we don't have to. Just knock them into the lava. One down. Uh, potential for falling sand trap relatively high. Let's not place any torches on the ground. Um, these creepers are special. Not sure in which way they're special, but they are because they have glowing. Okay. Uh, do we have anything with knockback? We do back at the base. So that is not particularly helpful. Sure, blow up the bridge. Okay, what makes you special? Reduced fuse timer, increased blast radius, which is it? It certainly isn't raised health. Let's try not to actually find out. Use the wall! Okay, definitely reduced explosion timer. Insta boom creepers. What's in the box? A whole bunch of coal, so we don't have to mine as much. A whole bunch of torches, so we don't have to use as much coal. Uh, what do we put in the box? Some random blocks. Probably don't have to reclaim these planks. Could probably just leave them, but... Anything inside the coal we should be made aware of? Nope, just solid coal. Um, should probably have broken the chest, but it's fine, we can just make one. Or we'll use the one that's up there. Because the area is dangerous, so I do not want to take all of the torches with me and then lose them all. Let's put a whole bunch of the coal back in here. Um, wooden hoe we don't immediately need. Blaze rod, two ladders, a couple of wooden things. Let's actually put the flint and steel on the bar. We can detonate some creepers with that. Having no idea what kimchi is, I'm going to assume no. I have not tried said substance. I assume it's some kind of food and not some kind of... I don't know, what else could it be? Martial art? Type of meditative yoga? I don't know why I'm defaulting to those two things. Okay, um, something could have fallen on my head. Something could still fall on my head. <laughs> Fermented South Korean cabbage. It is indeed a food, and no, I have definitely not tried it. the thorns again. Okay, hello creeper. You stay around that corner while I break this one. Nothing hidden up in the roof. Another one of those insta-boom creepers. But without the glowing. Where did you come from? There are no holes in the ceiling. There's where you came from. Oh, 
And there goes a piece of the armour. Duck under the fence. Okay, crafting table. That is the worst attempt at crafting a leather helmet I have seen in quite some time. UHC, you never asked to answer the question. I never asked the question, of course I didn't. I don't ask questions, but I only provide answers. I did not answer the question about the UHC from. UHC? MHC. From way earlier on. Um, the answer is, I have not recorded it yet, there will not be an episode on the Friday, but hopefully, maybe, possibly that will be recorded sometime over this weekend. I have not yet arranged plans, but I want to. No, we don't really do fermented stuff over here, that's about right. Anything gonna fall on my head, possibly. I kind of have a similar problem with the good old building issue. But really it's just practice, practice, practice. Efficiency one pick. Okay, uh, let's put those on the bar. Hello, dude. Okay. Uh, you do not take dog back. I, I, I do this, so do as I say, not as I do, but don't compare yourself to other map makers, like Calicio and Render in particular. I can guarantee that any map you make for a long time is not going to be nearly as good as anything those two can put out. So don't even bother comparing yourself to them. Just build your own thing, do your own stuff. Keep being original and inventive, and then hopefully, with practice, maybe one day, you will actually get there. But no one expects a first map. Or a jam map. To be nearly as good as any Ragecraft 3's simulation protocols. Untold stories. Ugh. Okay. Can things stop dropping onto my head from that platform, please? Kill the creeper. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, good. Single hit, off the platform it goes, dealt with. Um, running up and placing this lighting isn't actually going to do much. It's pigmen and wither skellies. And neither of those mobs care too much. So we're going to have to run up and actually break them. Pigmen are still on my trail, but they're way the way back there. So we should maybe... no, not quite. <laughs> Knock it down. Fill in all the gaps. Lock in that stuff. Place a torch. Place a torch. What's this little tunnel over here for? Where does this go? And is it a trap? No, it's a hidden chest. Well, I, I say no, it could still be a trap. It is not. Torches and a better sword. There's actually a knockback one. Guess of that as secondary weapon then. Okay. This area does also like its hole at the top of a staircase. And this is the second hole at the top of a staircase. Where did all those drop creepers keep coming from before? Because another one just spawned somewhere. Is it from one of the Dangling little platforms. Yeah, right there. Drop down. Break the spawner. Cool. I have no idea how Render does what he does. Render is a madman who continually manages to put out good stuff at a really rather fast rate. And I have no idea how the guy doesn't just get burnt out. Fill in that. Do I have to check all of these? I suppose I should, but there doesn't seem to be anything in any of them. Nothing in the hidden center one either. Okay, what have we got coming up? There's a bit of land over there. Presumably this tunnel wraps around and down there. Um, there's an anvil we left over there. We don't currently need it. And there's some more platforms, tunnel all the way over there, uh, large tree, Is this a project I don't know about, or is this Starlight? AKA Rookie Gauntlet. Why am I not using the efficiency pick? 
because Starlight should be out. Well, I would say soon, but it's been soon for an age. So who even knows with that one? Okay, break all of that apart. Run down here, light the spawner, break the spawner. Light the spawner. Okay, don't get pinned into a corner. It's fine, they had low enough health where I could just kill them anyway. Okay, still worried about potential for falling sand traps. Hello, Blaze. Apparently, I've not been keeping up with the Discord nearly as well as I should be. Because with that many people on one map, I should know about it, and I don't. if she still had the Race for Wool hosted a while ago and didn't actually get any response, so I need to chase that up again. But then... Hopefully I can get that map. Save file. Off a T. I don't know what gen... Ty, no. I've heard Ty speak before. Ty isn't a girl. I mean Tiwi. T and Ty, their names are similar, I guess. T, the one who hosted the server for the Race for Wool when I did stuff with Vet. I need that save file. But I am not great at chasing things up, so... I'll chase that one again later. Okay, we have a wood basher, we have more... Oh jeez, that's a giant wall of lava. <clears throat> we have a whole bunch of leather. Um, we need to use a bunch of it. Uh, we have a thing that can get us a whole bunch of wood quite quickly. Let's actually use it up. Not much point in keeping it laying around. We can actually use it and get some wood. That'll do. Okay. Let's run back to the chest and box some of this spare leather and stuff. And also make the rest of the set of leather armor that we need. What are you, the heck are you doing over there? Okay. Um, boots. Uh, let's just throw these. They're such low durability anyway. And they're leather, so who cares about repairing them?
Okay. No knockback, but that got its attention. Yeah. This no, not this way. This way. Around here, then over here. Now, did you? Okay. Must have been a residual spawn. Spawner is not there now. Uh, do we have room to pick up the anvil? Yes, we do. Grab it. Going to the blocks of coal. Convert them down. There's a whole bunch more coal laying around if we need to grab it. We do not need to at the moment. We can only have a couple of stacks of coal. And a whole bunch of wood as well. So we can make a ton of torches. that, convert down a whole bunch of sticks, make a whole bunch of torches, there we go. Three stacks is more than enough, especially for this area which is full of lava and thus reasonably well lit anyway. Dump the anvil, uh, that, couple of these old weapons. Um, let's actually take that full durability spare pick. Drop the log smasher, drop That, um, okay, the thing that we're low on at the moment is food. I think we go back to base, we grow a little bit more food, and we grab another shield, because this one is almost dead. We're up to ant van survival. Pardon, ant man survival. Ant farm survival. I, what the heck, Marvel? It's everywhere. It is literally invading the. Finger snap. Half of my brain blows up. As opposed to half the population of the universe. Um, Marvel, ant man, ant farm. What, what the heck am I even talking about? Corrupted Ant Man. I, I, I've literally gone for the same mistake again. I'm literally bad. <clears throat> Attempt number three. Corrupted Ant Farm survival. That's a very old map you're talking about there. Right, I actually managed to say the sentence correctly for once. Look at me go. Okay, a whole bunch of melons. That'll do for the food. Dump all the rest of the extra stuff. Hello, random zombie. I do not even care. It's because, it's because at work at the moment I'm doing an IT training thing and I'm in a team of, pe team of people who are like learning code and stuff and I kind of already sort of know what I'm doing. And we're pulling from a movie API and two of the movies in the top four list from the movie database website happen to be Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home. So I have, I have Marvel on the brain at the moment. And I literally looked at a picture of Ant-Man earlier on today. And that is why I'm making that mistake of saying Ant-Man rather than Ant-Farm. And there's a very long-winded explanation of why I made that mistake. Twice. <clears throat> what kind of CTM map is this? One with lots of lava in it. It's a... Um, 13 wool, which is a slightly odd number. 13 wool, full CTM map. For the latest version of Minecraft 1.14.4.
Made by Ty. And this is the orange wool area, and there's a whole bunch of lava. Okay. Um, I did not actually bring any blocks. Nor did I keep the wood breaking pick. Axe. Axe. There's, there's no pick involved. <sighs> what the heck of vocal. What the heck are vocal cords, he says, and manages to say vocal cords. What the heck is a vocal cord? What the... What am I even talking about? Hello up there. You have a... You have... There's one of you with a bow and one of you without a bow. Please do not shoot me off the platform. Why do I even say anything? I can't even manage to string together a single intelligible sen- Intelligible? Isn't that the not being able to understand? All my sentences are intelligible. I'm looking for a, a intelligible one. Is intelligible a word? If something can be intelligible, can something be intelligible? Let's go with comprehensible. That's a word that means what I want it to mean. 16 more arrows. Good show. We can shoot some stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure all the best people are mad, so... We're all mad here, said the Hatter. Okay. Ignore the holes in the floor. Drop down the stairs. Ladder to the left. Things gonna drop down from this corridor? Probably not. Okay. And this simply leads around in a little loop. Okay, fine. The ladder is the only way to go. I considered it, and then it was like a thing about taking screenshots. It was a thing with a magical camera, and the, the idea. It didn't sound amazingly exciting, so I never actually brought it up. But I did look into it, and I am on that Discord as well now. Okay. Yep. I hear you trying to flank me from the left. Where are you trying to flank me from? Where's the spawner over here, which is trying to sneak up on me? Because the guy holding a magma cream clearly came from somewhere. Okay. Place torch, place torch. Break spawner. Light. Retreat. There's a blaze somewhere. Okay. Eliminate the blaze first. It is the most dangerous mob in the area. Distinguish that. Okay. You do take knockback, so ideally I want to punt you off of an edge. This 
especially because they have thorns, so... Not hitting them, and instead knocking them off an edge is a good strategy. There's another anvil, here's a ton of slightly better blocks we can use. I highly doubt we're actually going to roleplay the thing. <laughs> it just sounds like that would be utter chaos. And I don't think we'll be able to keep it up for three hour flat recording session. So I'm going to go with no, as funny as it would be. Okay. Platform goes over there. The spawner I really want to find quick is the one with the blazes in it. Which is this one up here. Extinguished flare. Put down thing. Yeah, a few people choose to do the MHCs in more of a roleplay kind of way. No, 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 this is like, it's like a, um... It's the MHC, which is a monthly challenge, um... Which isn't CTM related. 20 minutes, Mondays, Fridays, bunch of people trying to complete a challenge in hardcore mode. Something different every month. Uh, this month rules include you are allowed to kill cows, which isn't usually a thing you're allowed to do. Um, you can only wear armor if it's purple and leather, and you have a full set of it, I think. And you have to try and obtain a bow as quickly as possible, and then only use the bow without using swords or axes. So. Quite a few restrictions and challenges this month, more than there sometimes are, and it seems interesting and it'll probably happen. Probably record it this weekend, if I can actually organise it with the other CCC people. Here, knock back two sword, a couple of flint steels. I don't want to stick around on this platform right next to the lava for too long. Okay. Let's keep being aware that there could be gaps on top of staircases. Oh, I'll not get knocked off the of ledges, please. <laughs> Not back sword. Well, there goes that pick. Good thing we have spares. Okay. Trap on top of the staircase. Nope. There is the wool. Hmm. Spawner are you? Creepers? Insta-boom creepers. Well, I almost dealt with them successfully. But not quite. There goes the bridge. There's a random bunny. No falling sand trap. Take 
technically it stands for Cool Cats Cute Yard, but the fun thing about acronyms is they can stand for whatever you want them to stand for. So, sure. We'll go with that. Dodge the arrows, please. Okay, good. Back away. Don't queue into the lava. Break that. Okay. Take a little bit of the shield of your ability down. But get rid of all the mobs. Seems like a fair trade. And we can collect a whole bunch of sand which we can use to pillar up to the box. It just looks less like a box and more of a gumball machine. Like a, what do you call those things that dispense, like the, um, the cylinders that then have toys inside of them? Are they like a, a gachamon thing? Is that the right word? Almost definitely not. But anyway, it had neither gumballs nor toys in it, it only had the orange wool. Which is probably better than either of the other two things, considering it's a CTM map. So, just gotta run the orange wool back to the monument, and that should be a great place to end the stream. Just gotta not randomly fall into a pit of lava on the way back, and we should be fine. A little bit risky with that jump, but um, I had a self-confidence. Confident enough that we're not going to run into too much trouble on the way back and I can take a little bit of damage from falling. Sprint down into that though. Is there anything in the. No, we just kind of activated it instead. I don't think you can even store things in minecart furnaces, you can only fuel them. Avoid that pit of lava. Avoid that pit of lava. It's quite nice to have an easier, earlier in the map lava area every once in a while. Most of them are a little bit later on into maps and thus tend to be a little bit harder. That one was, relatively speaking, fairly simple, straightforward, and easy. And there's our free golden apple for placing the orange wool. I think we're done with the beta testing now. That is, that is done with for the time being. It'll be this map again. Gotta get through a whole bunch of Monumenta stuff at some point as well, when we have a, a good time at the beginning of a week where I can start doing that again.
because I believe the Grey Wall Dungeon is coming very soonish, and I still haven't done some of the previous ones before the Grey Wall Dungeon yet, so I am I am now lagging a little bit behind. But I mean, so is TJ. So I don't know why I'm comparing my progress to his. I just know that we're both quite a bit behind. In terms of that, um, anyway, that is going to be it for today. And so, I shall thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I shall see you soon. <laughs>